Uh, congrats. It's good seeing you at the Golden Globes winning awards. Uh, congrats on that. Always fun. Is it fun? <laughs> do you like winning awards? Yeah, yes, I do. I mean, I'm just like, <laughs> uh, do you get bored of it or do you go like, ah, you, you know, whatever, once you've won it? Well, it's, you know, it's fun. You, you, you work all year on a film and then at the end of the year, then like yours are, is collected with a bunch of other movies that people think is the best of the year. Yeah. And you get to hang out and have all these like parties with your colleagues. It's pretty great. Yeah, and you get to run into people you probably haven't seen in a while. Too. No, it's really, really, no, that's really, really cool. It's like there's some people that, yeah, exactly. I, I bumped into uh, at, at one of the parties we were going to. I hadn't seen Tom Hanks in about like five or six years, you know? And then we had a really groovy converse, conversation and it That's was fun. really neat. Yeah, so it was really cool. Uh, is it cool for you because uh, we have something in common. We both worked at video stores. Yes. Uh, is it cool that uh, your, your movies are now, well, I guess video stores are no, no longer. Unfortunately. <laughs> That's a sad story. At one point it was in there. Yeah, they were, yeah, they were, no, they were definitely in there, yeah. actually. Um, Did you like working at a video store? I loved it. Yeah, no, I, it was actually, I think it was, in, until I was a director, I think it was like the job I was absolutely the best at, right? <laughs> uh, like to be sure. Yeah. Um, Did people come in and get re recommendations from you? Yeah, well, no, well, that was one of the things that was cool, at least at the beginning. One of the things that was actually cool was, um, you know, me being me, I, I wasn't just a normal video clerk, just, you know, uh, put, giving you Top Gun in your uh, case and sending you out the door. Uh, people would come in and ask me what I uh, what I thought about about this movie or that movie, and I would help them out. And I wouldn't just, you know, stick my taste on them. I'd try to find out who they are. All right. So if somebody would say, uh, 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 I, "Well, do you have a good comedy?" Well, you can't just give anybody any comedy. You have to find out what they like. All right. You know. So you would like. Well, what are a couple of comedies do you think are good comedies? So if they say Ghostbusters and Caddyshack, well, then I have a really clear idea of where they're coming from. If they're saying the Alec Guinness Ealing comedies, then I have a different idea about where they're coming from. You know, and so I would always try to steer it towards them. But the thing that was actually kind of cool, it's like for a little bit there, um, like for a couple of years, frankly, I, you know, it was like I was Andrew Saris and Video Archives was my village voice. Yeah, right. You know, it literally was. I was, uh, I was like uh, the film critic of the neighborhood. And, and I became, in a weird way, it was also my primer on becoming famous. <laughs> you were the, that was your fame? Oh, I got really, in that neighborhood, I got really famous, all right? So people so would just stop you on the street and be like... Yeah, well, 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 they knew me also. So, yeah, of course they stopped me on the street. But... It would be like a situation where, like, okay, so um, I'm taking a break. I'm going to go walk up to the Jack in the Box and get a Coke uh, that's about four blocks up the street. And I'm walking up the street, and people would drive by. Hey, Quentin, how you doing? Whoa! Yeah, hey, yeah. Quentin, yo, Quentin, yay, yeah. You Quentin, had sunglasses Quentin, on, Quentin, you're just like. Yeah, I go into a movie. Yeah, I go into like I go into like a movie theater. Like there was the Man Six that was uh, down the street, and me and some of the other guys from the video archives would walk in to go see a movie, and then we'd hear as we pass by people like, hey, "Those are the guys from Video Archives." Those are the guys from video archives. <laughs> really? Yeah. Did you have a go-to movie that you would recommend to everybody, all the time? Uh, I don't believe in go-to movies. All right, not to everybody. Not to everybody. Not to everybody. Right. Yeah. I had a, I had one I would give to. Oh, people. Well, what was yours? It was the Evil Knievel documentary. Oh, wow. <laughs> I loved it. It was my favorite thing I've ever seen in my life. It was one not, the, not the George Hamilton evil No, 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 yeah, yeah. no. <laughs> no, that one, I don't even I know if like had that, that in the story. Yeah. <laughs> this one was like a documentary that he produced or something. That he produced? No, oh, my it's goodness. fantastic. He's driving in an RV. <laughs> it's one of the best things I've ever seen. He's driving in an RV, and he goes, uh, he's he goes uh, I'll, I'll talk about anything. The camera's on. He's like, I'll talk about anything in this whole movie. You know, that's why I'm doing this documentary. I'll talk, to, I'll talk about anything in my whole career, mm -hmm. except for the years 1973 or 1974. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then yeah. he never talked about that for the rest okay, of the documentary. You know what? Now that you said that, we actually did. We actually did. It was a documentary that was done in Austin, Texas, and it was a movie called Hands on a Hard Body. Yes! I mean, I think it's one of the greatest documentaries ever made. Oh, the guy that eats the Snickers bar? Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, the guy who eats the Snickers bar to have the energy. And the thing about it, you know, that was a movie that if you commit to it, yes. you're going to love it at yes, the end. Yes, I totally absolutely. agree. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That was your go-to one. Yeah, that yeah. was my go-to one. Uh, uh -huh. on and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.